go take it away. Ready? Stopper here. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Hey, welcome to the Riz Rocks Show, episode number two. So happy to be here so in Independence Township. This is a Clarkston uh, Cable Access Show. My name is Steve Risner, your host. Uh, my nickname is The Riz. I'm a guitar instructor at Motor City Guitar in Waterford. If you want guitar lessons with me, look me up at Motor City Guitar. Uh, phone number 673-1900. My special guest with me, my very special guest, is uh, Mr. Noah Bruner. He's uh, the lead guitar player uh, of the band Temple of the Fuzz Witch. Uh, he just came off of a grand tour of uh, the East Coast, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. the Doom Metal, t uh, Doom Metal Tour. Yep. And uh, Noah is also a former student of mine, so we have an interesting perspective today. I get to ask Noah some questions about uh, you know, what it took to be where he got to today and uh, playing in, on the tour, playing on, on, uh, with other, uh, other bands on a tour. And also his experience is uh, beginning to play guitar because this, this show really is about the guitar. It's really about uh, just uh, having fun and just, uh, you know, people that are, anyone out there interested in uh, learning how to play guitar, this is a show for you that to kind of, you know, maybe get some information. Maybe you've uh, thought of playing guitar before. Uh, maybe you thought, uh, you know, you couldn't play because it was a too difficult of an instrument. And I'll definitely say, yeah, guitar is definitely a difficult instrument to, uh, to master, but it's not impossible if you put in the proper practice, which just means an hour of having fun with your instrument every day. That's really what it's all about, is having fun with your instrument. Uh, Noah has just uh, picked up a, a new guitar recently at uh, Motor City Guitar in Waterford. Uh, it's a Dunnable guitar. Um, I don't know, Noah, can you tell us anything about this guitar? Uh, is it, uh, um, it's pretty much just catered towards the uh, kind of the sludge and doom uh, metal genre. It's great, it plays great. It's kind of catered towards like when you tune down your guitar, when you detune it. It's, uh, that's when you tune down your guitar like below like a standard tuning. And this guitar is kind of catered towards that type style of tuning and that style of genre of music. The, these things are here, the pickups, they're a little bit more hotter output. Um, not by much, but a little bit, just to give you a little bit more grit and bite on your tone, just to uh, give it more, just, just to cater to the genre more, pretty much. Yeah, the guitar, yeah. The, a guitar, a guitar like that has more tension on the neck, I believe, than a guitar like, yeah. like this. Uh, this guitar is a... Uh, a PV guitar. It's a EXP limited edition made by PV, and it's tuned to standard tuning. And that just means that uh, your your strings names are uh, E A D G B E. And uh, when you tune down, it doesn't have as much tension on it. But the, but the higher gauge string that you have, is that yeah, more yeah, it's uh, actually I have another. Yeah, it's a fourth below yours, right? Yeah. B. Yeah. yeah. Um, this has this tuning on this is so his low string his low e string is e i have that too but where his a string would be that's where uh my e string i mean uh no my a string a string yeah my a string is where his low e would be so your oh, low e yeah okay. all right draw some of the fuzz there yeah Start those go. Yeah. All right. Very good. Um, you're on. You just came off of a tour. I mean, how did that go for you guys? Have a good um, time. It was busy. A lot of no sleep. Um, really fun. Good response from everybody. Gained uh, 
a lot of fans. Just a good time overall. Yeah, you guys, yeah. You guys get to go out there and like meet the fit fans from yeah. your, uh, from other states and things. Yeah, you know, people that great. follow you on yeah. Facebook, you get to go out there and actually actually meet them. That's got to be very exciting. You, very. And you just put out a, a, a new CD, if that's true. That's yeah, a new album. Uh, right. Yeah, it's through um, a record label, a great label. Um, yeah, it's a metal genre label. Bathsheba. Yeah. That's the name not, of one of the songs is yeah. Bathsheba. Definitely do metal genre, but uh, yeah. it's uh, very entertaining to watch uh, Noah play live. He's just uh, off the cuff. And uh, uh, we were having a discussion earlier uh, uh, out, in the, out in the parking lot during the, the, the fire drill today, <laughs> or not, yeah. not uh, the lack of fire drill, uh, that, uh, you know, it's, you don't have to be like major, major technical. There's the great guitar players like Steve Vai. Um, Joe Satriani and, uh, and uh, uh, Eric Johnson and uh, Frank Zappa. All these, these guitar players are fantastically great and we always strive to be that great, but you should never, you know, if you, you know, you should always play with your soul and play with your heart and make sure that your heart is always with your guitar because wherever that is, that's where you need to be. And there's always the striving for, for things that are better. Uh, as I said before, this is a, a PV guitar. I bought this at Motor City uh, probably like 2006. Uh, this uh, pretty much is a stock guitar. I think I paid like 650 for this guitar. Uh, it's got, uh, it had uh, two Alino, Alnico 2 Pro magnet pickups in it, which I replaced with a Seymour Duncan Jeff Beck. That's this bridge pickup here. I'm on my bridge pickup now. You can hear what that sounds like. Uh, it's one of my favorite pickups, it's just... Actually, I had this pickup in one of my old guitars, my RG450 Ibanez, and uh, it's just been just really the best. Just beautiful sound. And I also got this Seymour Duncan uh, distortion pickup here, which I'll let you listen to. Now what scared me off is that as they said it was a distortion pickup, a distortion is when you take your, uh, your tone, your, your sound of your guitar and you push it so it gets a little bit more of a distorted tone. Uh, no one knows all about distorted tones with his. Uh, do you get your, your distorted tone from your amp or from your uh, pickups? I use it actually with my uh, fuzz pedal. I use a fuzz pedal. Steve has one right here. I don't have yeah. the exact same type. Mine sounds a lot different, but the idea is there. Um, fuzz is a type of distortion. I turn up the amp loud and I get the power tubes distorted too. Yeah. So the back end of the amp I get distorted and then I hit it with the front end of the amp with the fuzz pedal. All right, so yeah. most of your tone is coming from the pedal itself. Do you run a clean channel with your amp? No, it's a dirty channel, but I kind of back the gain off, keep it a little bit cleaner okay. than just full out. All right, yeah, 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 full out distortion. Yeah. Otherwise, you just saturate your sound. Yeah, and it just your tone. cuts it. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. cut it. So. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, um, I do have a, an effects pedal down here that I'm using too. It's called a. Uh, it's by Electro Harmonics. It's called a Tone Tattoo pedal. And what this pedal does, and maybe I can get a close up of this uh, of this pick uh, this uh, pedal in a second, but it has three distinct buttons on it that I can press. It's like uh, you know all this tone in this tiny little package, and it wasn't very it wasn't very expensive either. This is no no effects. I'm gonna put the delay on it. This is the kind of carries a delay. Kind of an echo effect. Kind of, yeah, like an echo effect. It's a delay effect, and it's a, just adds some thickness to the guitar. Then I have a chorus pedal. It's like this. Then I have a type of fuzz. fuzz. It's like a moth fuzz. style fuzz. All kinds of fun. You see how much fun that was, and I was hardly even trying. I'm, not even, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just having fun here. Uh, so, uh, 
Uh, we have two different style bridges on our guitars. Uh, Noah clearly has, I think they call that a stop tail. Is that the correct uh, term? It's that? a tunomatic bridge. It's kind of, yeah, it's just like a Gibson guitar style bridge. It's pretty classic. And this is the trapeze tailpiece. Yep. Beautiful. It's all about it. And uh, I think you get some very distinct tones with this, with this setup too, because as you can see, yeah, the strings right go the bridge. Yeah, right, yeah, the strings go right through to the bridge, through right here. Yeah. And then your your guitar your strings are almost attached to the guitar back here so that they are actually extremely mm -hmm. uh, it's extremely tone laden. Yeah. Yeah, because of this you have more connection with the strings and the guitar. Less fortunate Steve over here. No, I was gonna say I got some I got some pros to this to, to this setup too. If you can get a close Stays up. Stays in tune great. Yeah. Yeah. I could go, for, for example, if you can get a close-up shot here, uh, I will demonstrate uh, one of the things I could do with this tremolo that uh, you cannot do with other guitars. And that is to uh, totally drop all of your strings into uh, the, the musical oblivion. Yeah. Noah's reading my mind. Close-up shot here, and it's going to go all the way down. Watch this. Let's get some distortion. Let's have some fun while, while we're at it, eh? Here we go. Ready? As you can see, all of the strings are totally just, see, I'm back behind my strings. And I'll simply bring it back up. Perfect tune every time, no, it doesn't yep. fail. Oh my gosh, we're just having so much fun today, Noah. <laughs> <laughs> Noah is a former student of mine, yeah. and uh, yeah, we uh, teaching at Motor City Guitar. I call him a, 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 a student alumnus. He has graduated by far, and yeah. uh, he's gone off to uh, mo uh, rock and roll college, if you will. So, I just want to say that I'm extremely proud of Noah that he's come so far in his uh, performance, and he's also. You know, a great friend. He's uh, now up at Motor City Guitar. Now he's now he's uh, working there too. So you always get to see Noah around. Yeah. Um, I think we'd like to just say a shout out to Bob Card, uh, Matt Force, um, Matt, uh, everybody, Mike, uh, Dave Buchanan, uh, Scott, Scott, oh, Scott Masson, Scott, man, yeah, everybody yeah. down there at Motor City Guitar, Dave Humphreys, Dave Humphreys, yeah. oh, I can't forget Humphreys, uh, yeah, Ed, the Ed Birch. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah got to say, got to say hi to uh, Mr. Marty and Melissa Minui. Thank you yeah. for Motor City Guitar. And uh, that's, uh, I don't know, that should be about it for, for today. We're just having fun. I think we're going to jam out a little bit. Yeah. Uh, we have our studio audience. Hi, how's it going in there? Let's wave at, wave at our friends. In the, in this, all right, hey, there's, there, there's Matt Blue. Special thanks going out to Matt Blue, uh, our producer yeah. uh, for the Riz Rock Show. And this, just hoping to have, you're having fun and entertaining and having an entertaining time, even though this may not be the you know, style of music that you like. Uh, it's still, uh, still having a great time with music. Yeah. So uh, make sure that uh, if you want guitar lessons, you look me up. My name, my name is Steve Risner, The Riz. Look me up at Motor City Guitar, 673-1900. And uh, make sure you check out Temple of the Fuzz Witch. And there's, is there a place where people can come? Uh, uh, you can look it up on Spotify, YouTube, uh, Bandcamp. SoundCloud, it's on everything these days. It's on Apple good. Music. Apple Music. Everything. Temple of the Fuzz Witch is the name of his yeah. band. And thank you all for tuning in. I think that's it for our show for today. We're looking forward to uh, episode three. If you come out, we'll just love it. If you have any questions or comments, please email me at theriz underscore 233 at comcast.net. Thank you very much. That's been a Riz Rock Show. Thanks for tuning in. All right. Say hi, say hi to Noah. Here we go. Already. Two, three, four.
much all right thank you so much for tuning in have a great day